Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello students uh, so welcome to the course NPTEL course visual communication design for digital media so in the last mod, uh, previous module we discussed about uh, some of the elements of design so we'll continue from there and we'll uh, discuss about the other elements of design in this uh, presentation so in the previous uh, module we have uh, discussed about um, uh, three elements uh, line uh, which is uh, one dimensional then uh, shape which is two dimensional and um, uh, we, uh, we also have discussed about uh, on uh, texture and pattern so here we'll uh, in this module we'll discuss about space which is three dimensional and we also um, will discuss about color but uh, space in uh, digital media uh, will be actually an illusion of space because we are not de uh, dealing with a three dimensional art form like product design and automobile design we can um, uh, we actually have uh, can create uh, three dimensional spaces but here in digital media um, uh, ui ux design or animation uh, or uh, visual communication uh, visual um, art we can uh, only have a illusion of space so here uh, by the um, usage of color texture and other um, attributes uh, we can create an illusion uh, if uh, in uh, if we are talking about augmented reality uh, then we can have a real space uh, real uh, we can deal with a real uh, space but in terms of other uh, digital media platform we can only have an illusion of space so how to uh, present the depth of um, uh, space uh, the depth or the illusion of space in digital media so uh, we can uh, do it uh, by three different uh, ways one is by varying size so if uh, there is one object and the object size is varying in um, uh, size is uh, differing then we can have an illusion of space for ex example if you see this uh, composition we have three uh, four columns here the column is uh, smaller and the column is becoming uh, appearing uh, bigger and also there is a um, change of um, uh, color and the color becomes dull there and so we have a illusion of space and this two dimensional art uh, appears three dimensional and there uh, exists a depth uh, feelings of depth so another um, uh, way can be overlapping overlapping uh, shapes um, on top of other uh, can create a illusion of depth so here uh, the best example uh, in my mind is material design by google uh, google's material design talks about uh, illusion of uh, depth uh, illusion of space uh, by overlapping so in the right hand side we can see uh, there is a uh, red plus um, uh, which appears like a button is on top of the uh, rectilinear shape and here in this rectilinear shape has a drop shadow so that actually appears like on the background this a rectilinear shape is overlapped on the background here if we uh, see the concept this is the concept design of uh, material design which is available in google's uh, site so all these uh, different uh, tabs and uh, buttons appear on top of each other so that uh, that is how uh, by overlapping uh, different shapes uh, material design creates a illusion of space so here uh, another uh, way of um, uh, cre uh, creating a de uh, depth of um, sense of uh, space is uh, vertically allocating uh, different um, objects so here on the right hand side we have a, a worldly painting which is uh, actually from maharashtra but this worldly painting is done in raghurajpur odisha so uh, this uh, worldly painting we can ha uh, see different formations of um, uh, human and um, animals on top of each other so they are actually afar the object appearing on top is actually ob uh, uh, object which is far farther and which is appearing bottom is actually nearer on the right hand side also we can see a map of uh, the same uh, place where we can see elevations of uh, small buildings appearing uh, on top of other so actually the uh, buildings which appears on top of um, uh, the other objects is farther so that creates a sense of depth in a 2d composition so another uh, way of representing a sense of depth is perspective which is uh, which looks more realistic so perspective in the terms of um, 
digital media we can use a real photograph which which actually follows a perspective drawing so here we can see a website of indian institute of technology Roorkee, and there is a the uh, the photograph actual real photograph of the main building so that creates a sense of depth that because that's a uh, photograph of a um, actual place and that follows perspective and also on the right hand side we can see a hand appearing on the ui design so that add, adds to the uh, three dimensional quality of a 2d space so here so the perspective can be of uh, uh, different um, uh, qualities. One is one point perspective. Uh, the first uh, example on the top is one point perspective uh, where every point vanishes on the single point. The next example is a two point perspective where uh, two different points will be there and all the lines will be vanishing on the two, um, uh, on, in, in this two point. There can also be multiple uh, point perspective. For example, George took us uh, the subway. You can see the um, uh, photo, uh, the painting uh, in the net. And there can also be created a dilemma of perspective. So perspective will be altogether confusing. So uh, again, uh, the example of Escher's uh, painting, if, we, if you see in this painting on the right hand side, the painting creates a lot of confusion of perspective, but yet it has a sense of depth. But uh, the space is not perceivable, the space is confusing because the staircase appears as a plan and plan elevation and everything is twisted in this um, uh, example. So apart from perspective, there are also uh, two other uh, ways of showing, uh, showing space, um, uh, depth of uh, space. One is uh, uh, isometric projection. Uh, the first example is isometric projection. Another is ax axonometric projections, where all the lines doesn't uh, vanish in a single point like perspective. They are actually parallel. All the uh, uh, planes appears parallel. In isometric projection, there are 30 degree angles and axonometric projection, there are 45 degree angles here. And uh, the next element of design is color. So color has three attributes. One is hue, uh, the next is saturation and another is value. Uh, the hue is, uh, hue as it is described is uh, the visual sensation of a different uh, color spectrum. So each and every hue is associated with different uh, uh, light um, uh, wavelength of light. So and uh, different examples of hue will be uh, purple, red, uh, blue, uh, cyan, uh, green, they are different hues and they are associated with a particular wavelength of um, uh, light. And saturation is um, or chroma can also be um, uh, des described as colorfulness or dullness of a particular hue. So here in this example we have taken blue as a hue and the saturation on the left hand side um, is less. So uh, at a certain point we cannot recognize the blue um, as, a, as a hue, it appears as uh, grey. On, uh, on the other hand, in the right hand side, the uh, blue has the highest saturation. What is value? Value is uh, referred as the lightness or darkness of a, uh, of a particular hue. So here, uh, unlike saturation, the particular color, particular hue will be either uh, we can add more black to a particular hue and it can be, uh, it can, it will be called shades and we can add white to a hue and it will, call, uh, it will be called tints. So uh, white, uh, if we add white to a particular color, so value increases. And if we add black to a particular color, the value decreases. So here we have uh, Newton's color wheel, all the hues are present here. So uh, and we'll discuss about the color scheme. So in this Newton color wheel, we, as we all know, if we uh, combine all the colors, we get white. So in terms of uh, light, that's an additive uh, um, addition of uh, light, so we uh, get white light. So here in the uh, uh, so if we talk about the primary colors, we have red, yellow and blue. These are the primary colors. We cannot create red, blue and uh, yellow by combining other colors. And what are the secondary colors? If we combine two primary adjacent primary color, we get the secondary color posi position in between them. So if we combine blue and yellow, we'll get green, which is appearing in between. And if we combine yellow and red, we get orange. And similarly, if we combine blue and uh, red, we get violet. So these are the secondary colors. If we combine one primary color and another secondary color, uh, uh, then we get a tertiary color. So for example, if we uh, combine blue and green, we, we get blue-green. 
bluish green that is the tertiary color and uh, similarly if we combine red and um, orange uh, orange which, uh, which is a secondary color red which is a primary color we get a red orange that is a tertiary color. So, if we talk about uh, uh, if we divide the color into two different sectors warm and cool depending on the sensation what kind of um, sensation they evoke uh, we have a warm color uh, which is uh, on the right side uh, of the um, color wheel red orange yellow these are the warm color which gives a uh, which gives evokes a sensation of warmth in the user's eye and on the other uh, other hand blue green and um, blue violet evokes a sensation of coolness in the uh, user's eye and that uh, that is a visual um, perception they give so uh, these are called uh, cool color and another interesting feature is one single particular color if surrounded by a warm color here in this uh, example uh, it appears cooler and on the other uh, other hand uh, these two greens are actually the same green and uh, the same green is uh, again uh, combined um, surrounded by a cool color which is blue and the green appears more warm so that is uh, that is one feature and um, so next we'll talk about the color schemes so one color scheme is complementary color scheme complementary color scheme as the uh, term denotes uh, the color which are actually situated on the opposite side of the color wheel um, radially opposite uh, is called complementary color if we combine two complementary color we will get again white light so ag uh, again for example yellow and violet are complementary color scheme and they are the most uh, contra contrasting color schemes again red and green uh, they uh, if we uh, uh, apply this complementary color red and green in one composition we will get a very contrasting um, st and striking color scheme and which will be very um, impactful on users mind so another example uh, another color scheme is split complementary color scheme which is not as striking as complementary color scheme but, uh, but associated with the complementary color scheme so for example uh, the split complementary color scheme means um, the opposite side of the color wheel uh, the color will be taken um, but just the an, uh, adjacent color not the opposite colors just as adjacent for example yellow if we uh, consider yellow and the complementary color violet in split complementary color scheme we will not take violet but we will take blue violet or red violet we will not go exactly on the opposite uh, side of the color wheel but the analogous at the adjacent of the color uh, uh, scheme another example is triadic color scheme triadic color scheme if we uh, see the um, uh, color wheel again triadic color scheme um, um, uh, talks about the color which is uh, three colors which is equidistant equidistant in the color wheel so for example triadic uh, in the if we look at the color wheel we uh, the triadic color scheme will be red blue yellow or if we take uh, violet there will be violet green and orange because these are equidistant three color scheme which are three colors which are equidistant from each other so if we take one uh, primary color the always the triadic color scheme will be the other primary colors if we take one uh, secondary color the triadic color scheme will be other secondary colors and similarly if we take uh, uh, tertiary colors the other uh, triadic color scheme will be tri always tertiary color for example if we take a, a tertiary color blue green uh, then the color scheme will be blue green yellow orange and red violet so here we have an example of a, a Bauhaus poster designed by a famous uh, visual designer Herbert Baer uh, here we are seeing blue yellow and red these are the primary color and these were actually the color of Bauhaus and the Stigel movement which we also see in uh, Mondrian's uh, Broadway, uh, Broadway Boogie Boogie which we have seen earlier in this um, uh, module so another uh, color scheme is analogous color scheme, uh, color scheme. so analogous color scheme will have the colors which are uh, adjacent to each other so if we go back to Newton's color, uh, color wheel analogous color will be yellow yellow green green or blue blue violet violet which are adjacent to each other which gives a very soft and soothing effect here we have a example of analogous uh, color scheme uh, so uh, this is an um, screenshot of a uh, animation uh, here uh, uh, we can see blue violet uh, bluish violet and reddish violet is used which three colors are analogous also if uh, if you see uh, picasso's blue period painting 
then he used all the analogous colors. So when he will be depicting red, he will not use the color red, he will use a blue shade of red that is violet. When he will uh, use, uh, uh, when he will depict yellow in his painting of blue period, he will not use uh, yellow, he will uh, uh, add a blue tint in yellow and that is why we, uh, he will use uh, green. So green will actually be depicted as yellow and uh, violet will be depicted as red. So if you can check in it, uh, Picasso's blue period uh, painting and you will understand uh, more uh, uh, that in detail. So also we have monochromatic color scheme. In monochromatic color scheme, we have one single hue and the variation of uh, the variation in um, value. So we can have uh, the tint and shades of that uh, particular hue. We can add more white uh, to get tints and we can add more black to get shades of uh, the same uh, hue. And we can ha uh, um, play with the saturation of the hue. We can add more gray and more impurities. And actually, if we um, um, think about the um, uh, color, then we can add the, com if we add the complementary color, so that color uh, has lesser saturation. So if we start adding um, green with red, uh, then uh, the red will uh, have lesser saturation. It will appear, uh, it will go towards the gray tone. And if we add more green to the red and then it will uh, go to the greener shade and red will decrease in uh, and the identity will be lost and gradually will go to the greener side. So here we have uh, uh, the example of same painting in different monochromatic schemes. One has bluish tint, uh, bluish um, he, blue hue and then uh, variation of tints and shades and another have uh, purple, green and uh, brownish uh, uh, hue. So uh, this is it. Uh, so we discussed about uh, different elements of um, design. Uh, uh, those are line, uh, shape, uh, um, form, shape and form, uh, illusion of space, color, and texture and pattern. So uh, if we play with this and uh, with the permutation and combination of these elements, we can create different kind of visual style. And uh, which will be dis uh, which will be discussed later. And the next module is principles of design and how uh, uh, with the different elements of uh, this um, uh, this design elements we can create different um, design that we'll see in the next module. Thank you.